Mike Stuchiner, Master Herbalist, here with Z Natural Foods. And today's topic of discussion is going to be talking about the difference between an effect and a side effect. I can honestly say I think that this area is one of, one, one of the most misunderstood areas when it comes to healing and health that's out there, above and beyond anything else. <laughs> and I hope that this video really brings some clarity to a lot of people in understanding how herbs and superfoods really do work and what the difference is between an effect and a side effect. So let me first briefly talk about what a side effect actually is. The general terminology when we use a side effect or the general definition is any effect that goes, that happens, that's outside of a list of specific effects that is supposed to happen when you take any substance. Now, here is where the issue comes in, okay? With a pharmaceutical, that's perfectly fine and that makes a lot of sense, okay? Because oftentimes with a pharmaceutical, the pharmaceutical is used for one, maybe two specific things. And anything that happens outside of those one or two specific things are generally considered a negative or side effect, okay? Because pharmaceuticals do not nourish the body, okay? Pharmaceuticals are used for a specific therapeutic effect, okay? Now, when you get into herbs and superfoods, and when I refer to herbs and superfoods, I'm referring to medicinal herbs, tonics and adaptogens. These, this conversation, I will make this crystal clear, is not about like poisonous mushrooms or hemlock or anything that could be considered really seriously toxic or poison to the body. Okay? I don't encourage you to take any of those things. I'm talking about superfoods, whole foods, medicinal herbs, tonics, and adaptogens. Okay? Just so we're all clear about that. Now, when you take any of the following that I've just mentioned, okay, you're dealing with, a, you're dealing with something that's quite complex by nature. Your average food, your average superfood, your average herb can have anywhere from 100 to as many as 1,000 different natural phytochemicals and constituents found within that herb. And I don't think, no matter how high tech we get with science that will ever truly know how many are in a food or an herb, okay, because they're in all parts, the seed, the root, the leaf, the stem, the, the, the flesh, the skin, everything is filled with phyto, phytonutrients and phytochemicals, okay? So when these substances and these foods are taken in their whole form, and whole form can be either a regular live food, it can be a powder that's just been dried, the food's been dried and made into a powder, or it can even be a full spectrum extract, okay? There are only one thing. There is no such thing as side effects. There is only an effect that happens from herbs. And the reason is, is because all of these different natural phytochemicals all have so many different uses to them that oftentimes if something is happening within the body during a healing crisis, it's because it's supposed to happen, okay? So for example, let's just say you take an herb and you know, the next day you feel a little bit nauseous and you threw up from what you had taken. Most people would say, don't ever take that herb again. It's toxic, it was a side effect, no. It was the herb was doing its job by possibly trying to get rid of something that was in your body that didn't belong there that you didn't even realize was affecting you because the effects of what was in your body was so mi minute that you as a person didn't even realize it because, you know, as I had spoken about uh, in a few videos back, I talked about compensation, how the body's always trying to find balance. So if you're in that state of new balance, you might not realize that you're going through that healing crisis at that time, okay? So therefore, <clears throat> that's part of the reason why when you take these different foods and herbs in their, in their whole natural form, that's the reason why they don't produce side effects. Because everyone is, 
in a different place in their healing journey. Okay, it's really important to learn that. So for example, if you have two people who take the same herb and they get slightly different effects, which would be considered maybe let's say a detoxification effect or what have you, it's not because there was something different about the, the, the same herb that one person took versus another. It was simply where that person was during that healing process, what stage they were at. Okay, those are the things that are going to determine how the herbs affect your body. Okay, so again, I want to be clear. Side effects are things that are not supposed to happen. When you take an herb or a food or a superfood in its whole form, what you're going to get is effects. Now, are there exceptions to this rule? Yes. When you get into what would be considered a standardized herb, then you might see what would be considered side effects. Most standardized herbs are used to support a stronger or a quicker healing response. And that often means that it's going to push the body to do something a little harder and a little faster. So therefore, you might produce some side effects from that. But again, it is still within the realm of what is supposed to happen within the human body when the body is attempting to heal and fix what is going on. Okay? Now, what is a standardized herb? Just so everyone's clear. A standardized herb, by all definition, if you really want to get technical, it kind of is like a natural drug. Because what they've done is, is that they, the people that believe in standardizing herbs, what they've basically done is, is that their belief is, is that only a few of these constituents is what makes the magic of that herb happen. And that's not the case. But what they do is, they will often isolate those constituents, concentrate them, and then put them back in the herb. So now you had this perfectly balanced herb, and you've made it unbalanced. Okay? Now with this new unbalanced herb, you're not going to get those same perfectly balanced natural effects from the herb and or superfood. Okay? I hope that this video has really been educational to everybody and has very much cleared up any misconception about the difference between an effect and a side effect. I'll see you guys soon. Have a good day.